Hello from the Lado TV. This is King Cool. And welcome to the Toast Reviews. Uh, for those of you who know how this works, I watch a movie, put it in the toast, and I talk about it when my toast is done. Um, and uh, this month we're doing Robot Month because it's my show and I want to do a show about robots. And uh, today on the show we're watching Robot and Frank from uh, 2012. And uh, on the show today we have some hippie ass tiny thing. I don't know what brand they are. They're back in the freezer. I don't feel like getting them out. Anyway, here we go. Okay, um, so Frank Langella plays a, uh, uh, a man who's, uh, you know, slowly going senile. They'll never say Alzheimer's or anything, but he, he's starting to lose his uh, memory when he's uh, not engaged. So his son, uh, James Marsden, brings him a, uh, a robot as a, as a healthcare aide to help him stay active and uh, engaged. And, um, you know, as it turns out, the guy is an ex-diamond uh, thief who uh, can break into play, you know, breaks into things and whatever, and done it in a while. And, uh, as he starts to rankle with the hippies in the town, the young yuppies, um, he's like, I want to plan me a, uh, plan me a, uh, a robbery. And, uh, the robot's like, sort of, okay, you know? Uh, and you, it, he actually does mention at one point, he's like, uh, hey, robot, uh, it's like, by chance, do you have a program? Do you have to follow the law? He's like, well, I can, if that's what you want. He's like, no, 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 don't you dare. He's like, okay. Um, and, uh, so they start, uh, working on it. Uh, this is a kind of a cute little movie. You know, it's, uh, I don't really want to oversell it. Um, I'm really picky about my movies about mental illness, especially about, um, old people going senile, because I had two of my, uh, my great-grandmother and my grandmother both do that. Um, so yeah, I'm picky about that kind of movie for me, and this one I liked. It's, you know, it's, the rapport that these two build up is really interesting, and, uh, you know, obviously, needless to say, they don't, you know, he doesn't like them at first, and they start to grow on him, and, uh, it's interesting, it's cute. Are these cinnamon flavored? I don't know. Um, there's one, you know, and it has a, you know, has some thoughts about what a robot would uh, do. With it. You know, the robot is not CGI, it's just a person in a suit who just, you know, walks like a robot and stuff. Um, and it's, uh, it's a cute, little interesting little movie. Um, that doesn't really inspire a lot of uh, discussion, really. Hang on. I'll be pushing it, but hang on. Um, pop it up in like 15 seconds. You know, as far as um, just a personal story, it's not really like super big idea. It's not like well, robots would have to be like this. You know, one of them was is and one of the two uh, children is anti-robot. The other one is mostly pro-robot and things sort of change. I think it's structured has a bit of similarity, not uh, in, in, in only in like the bare sense to splice. Yeah, see what I'm saying? That's already gonna be pretty dark. In the sense of like attitudes evolving and changing uh, about this uh, entity. Um, but you, you'll notice I am not bringing out the players today because um, like, this is pretty, I'm not going to say it's super, uh, super duper original, but nothing really struck me as being a super, uh, cliche thing. Um. There's one scene towards the end, when he, if, 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 like, towards the end of the first day, he's fed up with him, and he's like, oh, I don't want this, this robot, dobot thing, come on. But then the, um, the robot says, alright, like, but I... If, if you die or do this, I will have failed, and I'll go back and get my memory erased. Um, uh, and sort of guilt trips him, sort of like that, into to, to not letting it happen. But then a little while later, as the rapport is gained, he's talking about, um, you know, the truth is, I don't actually care if my memory is erased because I'm not alive. I'm just a machine. It's like, well, you, you lied about it? It's like, yeah. I sort of coerced you because that was, I needed, you know, to, to, my, your health is my primary concern. 
Um, and if I could guilt you into keeping me, you know, that would help you. So, it's like, oh, this is an interesting sort of relationship. I, again, I don't want to oversell it. And I don't want to talk too much exa about exactly what happens because so much of it is just the little moments of, of Frank uh, uh, Darabont alone in this house with this robot with no features and no name as they talk um, and discuss this heist that they're going to pull on one of their neighbors. And uh, I don't know, I had a lot of fun with it. I definitely recommend uh, checking it out. Um, there's a couple moments in there where I'm like, okay buddy, what were you thinking? But on the other hand, it is like, well, he's a guy who occasionally, you know, forgets what he, where he is and what he's doing. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed it. Again, not, it's not like it's going to inspire a lot of deep, meaningful discussion. What'll be up next for Robot Month? Uh, you'll have to tune in to find out. Thank you all for watching. This is King Cool. Eh, come apart. Drive home safe.